cleaning like a fool with no guidance. My son ain't a mirror, so we pray to the highest. Two lace bunts and a bottle of the Malibu. You've kept the body, but we still need to catch you. 30 get that grip to make your life worse. Hold me double back, squeeze like the nine bucks. It's kind of fast in this city sometimes. They hate my people's skin, same color as the night sky. Got you slipping on. <laughs> Sorry, that was hard. I like that. That was the first time I got it right. The same color as the night sky. They got me sipping on thin ice. Woo boy used to have a lot, but the wave nice spinning. Niggas said he went no pink and no swing. Niggas wanna hate me. Shit, I still show love. Bro, dubs and pop bottles. Honestly, I pick the cutter. Uh, I still show love. Bro, dubs and pop bottles. Check it with the cutter. I was like, uh, still show love. Bro, dubs and pop bottles. Kick it with woke chicks and still look like models. My main model. <laughs> that's, yeah. 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 that's me okay y'all so welcome back real talk and healthy food i hope you enjoyed the freestyle real talk action that's what we do so i'm about to hook up some food so here's how you cook a dinner and your meal prep all in one with your bro so you remember the stuffed shells we had earlier? Here they are with the toastiness. And that's great. So we're going to add more sauce that we made earlier. So it's going to be a great time. But I came here for, and you clicked on the video, for the um, sweet potato and black bean recipe. So this is what I have for breakfast. It is a sweet potato. What I do with this sweet potato is I boil it up for 20 minutes. And then after you boil it, then you want to put... Soon I'll find a better option, okay? But I use the vegan crock butter... <laughs> the vegan crock butter mix. And <laughs> I cool it and I bake it for another 30 minutes. <laughs> so. <laughs> so um, for the meal prep <laughs> what I do and what I'm going to do now is I split it down the middle simply because it's so soft from all the baking and boiling and you split it down the middle like that. And I'm going to simply spoon in my beautiful <laughs> black bean recipe. We'll win at four four four. No, don't it can't no, be no, a no, copyright. No, 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 it's just a shoot. Okay. Copy. 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 Cop
Copyright. Yeah, I want to get sued. I want to get sued. Oh, yeah. Wu Tang is on this yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm new, nigga. I can't yeah. afford no videos block. Alright. You just better be like, doom, 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 with your voice. Exactly. Okay. Hmm. So, where we left off is, <laughs> we thought we was recording this whole time. Damn. And niggas wasn't recording the damn thing. Yo, rest in peace to Dr. C. We can't hold the real nigga down. <laughs> so we ended on this chapter because I made a whole potato and gave y'all full instructions and y'all didn't see none of this. So nothing, nigga. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing was recorded. Cheers to nothing. <laughs> to nothing was recorded that whole time I was talking. I wasn't recording a goddamn thing. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? YouTube life. So, oh, <laughs> where I, it's recorded now. Oh, yo. Rest in peace, Dr. CBK. Keep a real nigga down. You feel me? Black beans and sweet, sweet potatoes, man. So, you take your baked sweet potato, as I said initially. You're going to split her down the middle. And so, again, I'm reiterating what I thought was recorded. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to have your onions, your black beans, your garlic, and tomatoes. So always start with your onions and garlic and whatever you're cooking in. It. My brother ain't here. Whatever you're cooking in it. And then add your tomatoes and peppers later. And that's what I did. Fry them up until they're brown. And then add the black beans. And you'll come with a beautiful. Because I am a fanatic of colorful food. If it's not colorful. I'm usually. Where the, where the greens at? Like where's the veggies? Like I'm not going to eat no boring food. You just got me bent. So, this is what I eat for breakfast in the morning. My sweet potato because I'm a woman and I have different things going on. So, a, a yam or sweet potato is always going to be the best thing. And because I'm a vegetarian, I have to have my beans and I have to have my onions and tomatoes because sustenance. Okay. So, you just simply scoop your portion into the middle like if you was to make a baked potato and add your topping okay but this is a better a better carb than a potato because a potato if you're not very active you know if you're not very active this is re really good especially but even if you are active it's better than a potato because you're going to get the same amount of fullness and satisfaction. So, this is my meal prep. I do five of these for every morning. I have five different ones ready to go. And that's what you do. I mean, if you just get five for the week, you're gonna. I spent $3.47 on five sweet potatoes. They think that... Eating healthy is expensive, and that's why I'm here to let you know that it's not. It's not. Like, I was eating this stuff and feeding my dog real chicken because it's cheaper to feed your dog real food than dog food in a month's time, if you think about the money. But anyway, we'll get into that when I get my puppies. But for the week, I do this, so I'll come back another day, but I thought I'd share that with you. And I hope you had a good time on Real Talk and Healthy Food. That's my breakfast. I like savory dinner foods for breakfast. And <laughs> you saw what I'm going to eat for dinner. I'm going to add me some sauce and have a good time. And then maybe I'll, I'll show y'all what I'm going to do for my lunch because I'm in the middle of a health challenge and weight loss so we're gonna have a good time watch these healthy foods get all up in your guts sweet potatoes onions tomatoes and stuff uh, mm. yeah black beans black beans your g bomb oh, your g bombs g bomb shout out to the minister of wellness your greens um beans mushrooms 
onions, and seeds. Your grains, I forgot what the G-bombs, but you have to have your G-bombs because, you know, we're living in times where um, food uh, is used to kill you. And especially if you're black, you know, I'm not perfect. I got my struggles. I was smoking cigarettes and shit. You know, I drink wine and I have my things that I'm battling, but I feel like at the least, at least the thing that you have control of is your food and what you're going to have for dinner and what you're going to eat. So at least we could have that knowledge. And if you are dealing with habits, then you could have some sort of balance until you're able to kick those bad habits in the ass and be the in your optimum health. So with a Timberland boo, like we just keeping it regular. That's why it's real talk and healthy food. Cause it's real fucking talk. Like, yo, I was fucking addicted to the Mickey D's. You remember when I was addicted? Sure. I, I, I was uh, a vegetarian then. Um, I've been a vegetarian 10 years. I don't claim vegan. I want to be like nutritarian, like the minister of wellness. Because the difference between vegan and uh, nutritarian is that a vegan doesn't eat dairy or any animal products, but the foods that they eat is still unhealthy. Mm. Like french fries. Completely yeah. vegan, fried in oil. Not healthy. So it's those healthy decisions. So it's those types of things that you got to consider. So that's why I appreciate him. So, But I feel like where I'm at, at least where I'm at, is a way different than a motherfucker who's getting like, you know, a, a, a double cheeseburger with fries. Like, I feel like what I'm doing, it might not be the optimum, but it's way better than the nigga that's getting fucking... Uh, yeah. Some you you know some fucking ill like pulling up to the Wendy's. I need a double cheese with some fries and some chili cheese fries with extra bacon. Like I think I mean my shit uh, like action heart attack action. And then some niggas get like fucking a cheeseburger with some fucking chicken nuggets and the fries and the milkshake and the pie and the shit. So. Actually, I feel like shit. even though I'm cooking my shit with vegan, whatever, it's still not the best. But that's where I am in my journey. And keep in mind, this is a 10-year journey. Mm -hmm. And this was like, I went officially vegetarian in 2009. But before that, 2005 was the first time that I went vegetarian. So it was a very natural and healthy transition. And I never encourage, I think realistically, it would be stupid to think that someone would go from a meat eater just to vegan. I don't see that being realistic. I think a person should go from a meat eater to pescatarian to vegetarian to vegan options between the two naturally because naturally your body's going to reject certain things and you can always substitute to offset the imbalance within your natural body with you being raised as a meat eater so there's, you know, things like that. And then uh, eventually to the nutritarian diet, which is completely nutrient dense based foods, your G bombs and things like that. So I think there should be a healthy balance. And you should be honest within your journey, because if you're not honest, you're not going to be successful. So that's how I think, you know, if you're lucky enough to have seafood, I would start there. I'm allergic, so my transition was a little bit easier <laughs> for me because I'm allergic to most everything. So that's that. If you decide to have that for breakfast, enjoy your breakfast. Check me out next time. Love, peace, hair, grease. Will win for life. Yo, I get a shout out real quick. For sure. Yo, shout out to my raw vegan niggas eating apples for breakfast, tomatoes for lunch, and corn yeah. for dinner, nigga. Y'all niggas yeah, is the thuggest niggas on the planet, bro. I mean, these niggas pull this shit straight from the ground, rinse it off on water, and like, oh, that's dinner, nigga. Dinner. And then they go to sleep.
and wake up and run three miles, bro. Shout out to y'all, because y'all the real gangster niggas on the planet. When y'all take over healthy bodies and regular <laughs> bowel movements, you know what I'm saying? Remember me, because I shot a drought. Smoking cigarettes and shit. This nigga ain't drinking liquor. Yo, 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 yo. Check this out. We Remember out. me. Just don't hit me with a Bruce Lee kick because my lungs is bad. I ain't gonna survive. Yo, nigga. Yo, we out. Yo. Come back, y'all. I'll see y'all soon. Peace. Peace.